one and all. I indeed take great pleasure in welcoming you all to our 14th annual celebration. It is not my journey. It is the journey of Team Catalyze. It is the journey of our teachers. It is the journey of our students. I am only a guide. So today I actually wanted to speak a little bit about our journey, the Catalyze story, because we are having a lot of students attending this event. And I'm hoping that if anybody has a spark in them for entrepreneurship, you know, they will understand how businesses work or how we create something, right? So this is actually a presentation which I did a few years ago, but I feel that now I should revisit it more for our team. The team has also grown and for the benefit of our parents as well as our students. I hope everybody is able to see my screen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we actually started in the year 2008. At that point, I was doing my PhD and I was interacting with a lot of learners because I was teaching as well in a college. So at that time, teaching at the university actually. So at that time, you know, I happened to realize that no two learners is alike. Say in a class of 50 students, only about five learners will actually grasp what the teacher is saying. The rest are all somewhere in between. And this, you know, being passionate about education and making a difference to teaching and learning, I wanted to create something where, which is a little futuristic, where we are using or leveraging technology and making it in such a way that there is no geographic barrier. And we are also making it a personalized approach so that we are able to make a difference to every learner. So in 2008, this was just an idea. A good friend of mine at that time just started a website company. So I went to her and I said, look, this is my idea and this is what I want to do because I know that this is the future. I know that this is where we are heading. This is where education is heading. So she said, okay, Rajshree, let's just have a chat and maybe we can create a website. So the first thing is we did a website. So this is what our first website looked like, you know? See, think, think way back in 2008, you know, we were not, <laughs> this was, it was, a, it was just a spark at that point, you know? So our first website had a dashboard for students and tutors, and we offered a range of programs, but at that time we were mainly into Indian curricula. Okay. Today, of course, our main uh, focus is international curricula, mainly Cambridge and IB. Those days, nobody knew about technology. So I'm talking about 14 years ago before the actual tech revolution happened. People did not know what Skype was. Zoom was non-existent. We used Skype in those days. And there were a lot of technical technological issues because networks were bad. You know, we had in India being India, you know, we had power cuts, et cetera, et cetera. So what we used to do is we used to educate the students and the parents on technology. So we used to send them a Word document with how to install Skype, how to go about online learning, you know? So we had to educate people. This was our first media coverage. This is way back in 2008 in Coimbatore. We got a media coverage in Hindu about what we are doing. But still in 14 years, our vision has not diluted. We have not diluted our vision because I'm very clear that every learner is different, you know? So if you see, if you read this article, maybe the curricula have changed, you know, but Almost all school going children are well versed in technology, especially internet. If they could utilize the medium of taking classes, it could help them improve their productivity in school. So those days we never had any homeschooling concept. 
So it was mainly after school support for Indian curriculum. So this is our first student, Anisha Jay Shankar, and she did very well in her 10th and 12th. And now she is a HR professional with New Zealand HR department. And her mother gave us a very good testimonial. So it says, let me first congratulate you for starting this wonderful method of teaching. What I really liked about Catalyst Center was it's a time saver as we do not waste time traveling to and fro from the tuition center. We get time to observe what our child is doing without intruding into their study time. There is no distraction from other students and the teacher and student have full concentration on the study at hand. The child can clear all doubts because it is one-on-one, -on -one, the learner feels comfortable. The math portion gets covered in advance as she's putting in quality time along with the teacher. She came mainly for math first. Now, I would also like to thank you for giving Anisha a wonderful teacher like Anita. She's very patient and caring. Anita patiently explains everything till Anisha gets it right. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish your center all the best. God bless. So this was a very, very special testimonial because it was our first testimonial and feedback from the parent. Then what was in store for us? So this was going organically. I was not putting all my energies into this because I was doing my PhD, then I was teaching in a college. But in 2014, something changed. What changed? Skype became a household name. People became open to technology. And the type of questions that people started to ask us changed. Earlier, it used to be like, what are you going to use for teaching? How do I uh, get to know that my child has learned it, et cetera, et cetera. Then now they started talking about more about the teaching learning process rather than the technology it's because they became comfortable with technology. And we underwent a transformation. Then... In 2016, we became a private limited company and we created our vision and mission statement. So we said we aim to transform all our learners to achieve more than their aspirations through personalized education. Although this vision has not been diluted in 14 years, we defined it further because we were getting a range of learners. This is our mission statement. And all of the sentences that I, all the words that I have underlined here, the L-E-A-R-N leads to learn. So our mission statement is understanding the learning curve of the individual, enhancement of teaching learning processes through the use of technology, adapting, that is curating or designing programs based on individual needs, encouraging research, reflection, and ownership. This is a very, very important part of creating independent and lifelong learners from teachers and learners. This is a process where teachers learn as well because teaching is the best form of learning, you know, creating a nurturing environment that enhances learning capabilities. So if you put all of the first letters of all of these words together, you get learn. So this is our mission statement. And we created values and we try to live up to these values almost every day. Trust, integrity, punctuality, accountability, innovation, and excellence. I'm not going to go into each one of these. So we will just go with the main values, trust, integrity, punctuality, accountability, innovation, and excellence. So today we have a global presence. We are present in 40 countries. We have clocked 175,000 hours. We have 14 years of experience or expertise in online education, handling various international curricula, not just Cambridge and IB, which are global. We are also into country-specific curricula like K-12, Hong Kong curriculum, Australia, New Zealand curriculum, which are very country-specific. We have transformed 12,000 learners across the globe. And we have 350 subject and curriculum experts creating the transformation. This Last year, December 2022, our team Catalyze got awarded at the Women Economic Forum because we are a women-centric organization. All of our teachers and coordinators are women. They were awarded with the iconic women creating a better world for all award 
at the 84th Global Edition of the Women Economic Forum in New Delhi. It was really a proud moment for Team Catalyze, the coordinators who work with the learners, the parents. They are the interface between the organization and the parents every day. I think we have a great team of coordinators who really work 24 seven for the benefit of the learners. I would say that. So can we give them a big round of applause? Thank you team, we wouldn't be here without you. Coming to the Catalyze Advantage. So here, our core is customization and personalization. We are a one stop for all educational needs. Many people don't know the kind of programs we do. I'll be talking a little bit about our verticals. We also do higher education, counseling and career planning. When a child hits the ninth grade itself, I encourage the student coordinators to call the parents for a we counsel session, what I call as a higher study counseling session. Because when a child enters the ninth grade itself, we need to start thinking about what they're going to do in college, which country the child is going to be studying in. Because all of this takes a lot of planning. There, is a, there are a lot of prerequisite exams that the child needs to take. So this planning has to happen in co cooperation and collaboration with the parents. We also conduct psychometric assessments if the student is not clear about which path he or she wants to take. So the psychometric assessments give you a guideline based upon the interest of the learner, based upon the capacity of the learner. It will give you career choices. We have coordinator support, as all of you are very well aware. And our customization and personalization leads to bridging of learning gaps. Um, can I request people to just mute their microphone because somebody's microphone is on? Thank you. Unique programs created for the kind of learner and learning style of the learner. All of our programs are live interactive one-on-one -on -one with curriculum and subject experts. So our teachers are not just subject experts, they're curriculum experts. Regular monitoring of the students' progress through PTMs and academic reports. And because we are online, there is no geographic barrier. We have teachers teaching from all over India and abroad as well. So the uniqueness of Catalyze is the student is the center of the classroom and the teacher is the center of the education system. We focus on the teaching methodology to create happy learning and create the transformation. So a student may come in here with experiences and exposure, their own experiences and exposure. We want to deepen concept reinforcement. We want to understand the learner and the learning style. We have curriculum experts who create a friendly learning culture and create lifelong learning in the learner. We also offer various curricula under one roof and various verticals, including career counseling, under Catalyze banner. So what is personalization? Many people don't understand the concept of personalization and it has become my mission to take it to more and more people. Personalized learning is a pedagogical concept, supposing that the emphasis in the educational process is shifted from the normative requirement standards, etc. So we are not a one size fits all organization. We don't believe in one size fits all. We believe that every learner is unique and we need to work with the learner. We are not an organization that pushes every learner to be an A star. We have special learners. A special learner scoring a B is a great achievement for that learner. We celebrate such achievements. So we are not a one size fits all. Personalization takes into account his or her characteristics, inclinations, abilities, talents, natural, national and cultural concept, context, and the personality of the learner. All of these are taken into account in the personalization process. Also, the kind of learner, I'll be talking a little bit about that. What are the four core elements of personalization? You need flexible content and tools. Online education or online learning creates that. 
you know it gives you the flexibility to work with various resources and tools to enhance the teaching learning process targeted instruction instruction aligns to the specific student needs and learning goals data driven decisions we analyze the courses that we are giving the learner is the learner on track is the learner deviating from the course is he ahead or is he trailing behind what what we have planned for that learner so this data gives us the confidence to arrive at good decisions that we need to take okay this particular learner is going to need more number of hours to complete this program or this particular learner is very advanced in a particular topic or this learner is a progressive learner in one topic but an exceptional learner in another topic you know so these are the kind of analysis that we bring in for every learner mr sanjay myself uh, ms preeti rajagopal and all the student coordinators we always analyze where the learner is before we take it to the parent student reflection and ownership this is a very very important part to create independent learners we want our children to be independent learners and good representatives good citizens in this world if we are not creating reflection and ownership we are doing the child a disservice so this is very very important it's an important part of growth it's an important part of parenting it's an important part of education i feel very strongly about that as you can see what are the principles of personalized education personalized learning learner is the center of the classroom <clears throat> social and emotional nature of the learning we need to understand that usage of technology recognizing individual differences the different learning styles in every learner is very very important to understand stretching all students we must you know i i would not like to use the word push i would like to use the word nudge we must nudge the learner towards more and more excellence you know according to the potential of the learner assessments and connected learning this outcome gives you lifelong self directed learning so what are the learning styles of learners in the classroom so we have different kinds of learners some learners are visual or spatial learners some are auditory some are social interpersonal learners some are logical and mathematical learners verbal learner physical and kinesthetic learner solitary and intrapersonal learner so coming to the catalyzed verticals so right now we have a very this is we teach we teach is our after school help vertical where we are catering to mainly cambridge ib and certain country specific curricula we school is our online school today we have 23 students in our home schooling the pandemic gave us a very big push in this particular vertical and in the year 2020 in the may june session cambridge cancelled their exams we had a learner who was were taking home schooling from us he was appearing for exams in a exam center based out of chennai and when cambridge cancelled the exams schools were requested to send predictive grade for every student now this parent was anxious because he was coming to us we are an online school so he spoke to the exam center and said if catalyze can give you a dossier to show the evidence based evolutionary learning curve of it, of that learner will you be able to upload it as part of your process like a predicted grade um the uh, school said okay so we at catalyze we we had this is this again it's it's kudos to our academic process which ms priti rajagopal designed so it is kudos to us because we had all the information that was required over a period of 6 to 8 months with us which we needed to show cambridge that this particular learner had shown an evidence based evolutionary learning path and this is the grade that we are predicting for this learner so when we sent this to the exam center for it to be uploaded to cambridge they uploaded it and cambridge came back without any corrections they accepted our grade as it is 
schools were graded 40% lower because they did not have the evidence to support what they were claiming for that learner. So this was a very, very big feather in our cap, you know, and it gave us that boost and that confidence that Cambridge, we are on the right track with the Cambridge curriculum and we have not looked back since. So starting from two or three learners in the year 2019, Today, over a period of three years, we have reached 23 learners in the homeschool vertical. We coach is our vertical for exam prep, like SAT, advanced placement, IELTS, TOEFL, uh, NEAT, IIT, UCAT, which is the medical entrance in UK. So this is our Vertical for uh, competitive exams. We code is our vertical for uh, coding, teaching children coding. The other verticals are all uh, at this point evolutionary. So I'm not going to dwell on that. But I want people to know that there are children who come into our organization at grade four or five and continue even up to first or second year college. Even after college admission, we are supporting them with high level math or physics, whatever is required, you know. So all of these verticals have helped us, you know, uh, cater to the learners fr from different aspects. So the we coach vertical is very important because as I mentioned, you'll recall that we counsel the students through our we counsel vertical here for higher education. So when we counsel them, we also understand the country of higher study that the child wants to go to and what are the prerequisites required for university admission in that particular country. And then we design the entire program for them. So I think I'm going to skip this because we have already spoken a lot about our process. I only want you to uh, think about this the intensive process for homeschoolers. We have a very good process for homeschoolers. And we have many children who are taking sports or um, music as career, main career, and they come to us for the qualifications of the 10th and 12th standard exam, where we are working with them, training them for appearing for the UK curricula exams, uh, Cambridge mainly, but there are other UK curricula like Edexcel, AQA, OCR, where they can appear as private candidates, and they can still get the qualification of a IGCSE, AS, and A level. So coming to our student achievements, I'm just projecting the slide, giving you a couple of minutes to go through. This is for our international curricula, Cambridge and IB learners. Coming to our V-School vertical, Priyam Tyagi today is studying in University of Cincinnati. She's studying aerospace, aeronautical engineering. And uh, she is um, a student who took homeschooling from us from KSA, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. We provided the predicted grade needed for the college admission, which had to be supported once the exam results came out. But normally the admission process, the way it works is in the 11th grade itself, they have to apply to the college. So we provided, a, after her mock test, we provided the mock test report, which served as a predicted grade for her to, or a provisional, provisional grade, you know, so that she could apply to the university with that. We also provided um, recommendation letters and citations. And today she's studying in University of Cincinnati. And as I mentioned, we have, sorry, we have 23 we school children taking online homeschooling now. So coming to a we coach and competitive exam. So these are the results over the past few years. AP is a very, very sought after program with us for uh, admissions uh, in the US, Singapore, and some Indian universities are also starting to look at it now. Um, 
Of course, SAT, PSAT, everybody is aware of. Uh, now, many US universities are saying that SAT is not mandatory. Uh, some of them have removed it. But I still recommend children to uh, attempt it because if you're having about 3,000, 4,000 applications, it may not be mandatory for admission, but it will help you stand out from the other applicants. You know, So I always recommend children to take it. Then IIT, JEE, and NEET also we are coaching. So these are our student ad achievements where they are studying. Some of our students are studying today. So Kevin Swami took advanced placement course with us and he's studying in Georgia Tech USA. Ilan took A-levels with us. He's studying in Delft University, Netherlands. Tana is studying in Zurich University. Abraham, Nottingham. Ram Sagar, Texas A&M. Neil Mukopadhyay, University College, London. Priyam Tyagi, University of Cincinnati. It's not just academics with our learners. We are super proud of our sportsmen, sports people. And we have so many children playing various sport. Footballers, cricketers, badminton players, gymnasts. In fact, there is, we are awarding a few of our learners under a banner called Sportsman Spectacular. We are very, very proud of you children. Keep it up. One of our pride homeschooling students, Mr. Abishai, played football Delhi Youth League organized by Delhi Soccer Association under 15 and our champs team won the league. Congratulations, Abhishai. Palash Bandari, he is a cricketer from New Zealand who's under, who was in the under 19 team. This is only a few examples. We have many, many such learners whom we are super proud of. So thank you all for giving me the opportunity to walk through my journey again, or our journey again, the journey of Catalyze. 